going on guys appreciate you stopping on my channel as always make sure you subscribe while you're here as we do videos each and every week um, today I'm going to have three different agency meetings and uh, here in Miami I'm just here for a few days uh, tagging along with my girlfriend Katie while she's out here for a work trip and I'm her plus one and it's been a lot of fun and uh, so yeah I'm gonna talk about it throughout the day after each agency meeting and then give you a summary at the end of the video about what my decision might be uh, depending on how things go and to see if I can get placement out here in Miami as well. So I will keep you posted. Oh, I also want to mention that I, if you are new to my channel, I offer um, educational downloadables and resources for models and influencers um, in terms about how to get in the modeling industry, getting signed, how to find photographers, everything A to Z, and I just released my How to Become a Male Model, the Ultimate Sheet Guide ebook, and uh, the reviews have been awesome so far. I'm just super grateful you guys are uh, not just absorbing it, but you're applying it, and it's already helping you to uh, get started in the industry, and even if you're um, a working model, how to refine and how to go full-time and take it big picture for a, a, the long game, um, not just like some sort of temporary thing you do for fun to make money, but to you know, have an exciting and uh, very uh, nice career long long term. Um, so yeah, if you click the link in the description below, you're gonna find uh, that ebook as well as the top 10 Instagram growth tips for models and influencers. And I'm also gonna be releasing in about a month's time, uh, coming off my recent men's health cover, um, men's uh, fitness and uh, diet training related resources in terms of my exact diet and my exact training I do all year to stay lean um, versus any extreme dieting or training that you might have uh, given up on over the years. So it's, it's going to be really helpful for you guys. I hope you love it. Um, and again, all that information is going to be below. It's called the year-round six-pack, what I eat, the year-round six-pack, uh, how I train. So um, those are going to be very detailed and uh, give you some insight into what it is that I do. All right, without further ado, let's do these agency meetings and see how it goes. All right, three agency meetings today. Before I catch my flight back to San Diego, I'm in Miami, I'm trying to be quiet. But Wilhelmina is up first. So the first meeting went really, really well. Um, my mother agency, LA Models, was nice enough to uh, set up three meetings with three different agencies here in Miami and uh, that's a really helpful connection um, because otherwise it'd be really really tough to just you know try to get a walk-in um, certain agencies will do that um, at certain times of the month uh, but it's really really great to have the support of your mother agency and that they're willing to try to get you placements I mean placement in other territories in the world. That was a really great meeting. I felt like really connected um, and I felt like they're really excited to possibly work with me and um, they do know I have two other meetings, uh, but it sounds like uh, they would really like to work together uh, depending on how these go. And uh, for me, I was telling them that obviously the fit is the most important thing because you could sign with an agency and just sit on their roster all day long if they have way too many models. So it's really important to not just, you know, get excited and sign because you just want representation, period. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, so far, I'm feeling pretty positive about it. And I think that I would most likely sign with Wilhelmina at this point. Uh, because they are able to do a lot of direct bookings and because I'm in Southern California um, I can't attend the castings in person so it's ideal for me uh, that you know they can have such a good relationship with their current clients that they can vouch for me and say Weston's great and then they just fly you in and your direct book no casting required that'd be great so we shall see keep you posted I'm on my way to next models right now all right so that wraps up agency meeting number three of three and uh i have to do a lot of thinking this is going to be hard um all three went really well um, I feel like the one with Wilhelmina was a very strong connection. 
I felt like Next was also strong, um, but unfortunately their men's director was out of the country, so I couldn't get a full read, you know? So that um, <laughs> makes it a little harder to make a decision, obviously. And then um, meeting with front management as well went super good, and uh, they spent a lot of time with me, and I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, when I walk away from it all, I'm debating a lot of different factors. Uh, connection is number one for me, for sure. Um, and they're per how personable they are. I want to feel like they really believe in me and they're behind me. Um, and it's really neck and neck for me. Um, I'll just keep you guys posted on what I decide, but I did reach out to my mother agency, LA Models, who uh, were kind enough to try to help me get placement here in Miami. And um, I gave them my feedback, so hopefully with, with their feedback, I can really weigh the options and figure out what would be the best fit and work well for everyone, because that's what's most important. Um, so the thing is, is uh, to explain what I mean by mother agency, is when you designate, uh, if you're multi-agency rep, one agency as uh, being everything, you know, where, where everything goes through with your bookings, um, your, your charts, you know, whether you're available, ultimately they have first option for everything. And first option means that uh, if someone from a uh, client from LA Models inquires, hey, we want Weston on this date, um, and then another one of my agencies says, oh, we want Weston on this date also, but it's like a day later, um, you know, they're going to get second option. So it depends on if that client pulls out or pulls, goes forward, LA Models has first option with me. And um, But the benefits uh, to that are that it's nice because they, they work your charts. Um, you can send out book out dates and they manage that for you. And between the, the various agencies, it can be very hard to do when you have um, a lot of agencies and you're trying to work with just Google Calendar and relaying the information to everybody as a model. It's super hard. Because uh, you can just let stuff slip through the cracks when you're traveling and whatnot. And it's such a time sensitive industry. But um, I was gonna say something, what was it? Um, yeah, so as with the mother agency, what's cool is they'll they'll place you. So if you say, I'm gonna be in Miami for a few days, um, I would love to get representation there. Do you um, have any connections for me? And they reach out. And a lot of agencies work like that worldwide because it's really in everyone's benefit to have that network connected because at the end of the day, you want the right model for the right job that's available. Some model might be perfect for a job at one agency, but they're fully booked. Oh, I'll call my other friends in Miami that are with a different agency. Let's just get this client someone that they need. So that's how I, I would assume that's what one benefit is. Uh, anyways, not to get too off topic. Um, right now I'm with seven agencies. This would put me at eight. And when I talk to people about that, they're like, wait, you can have more than one. Um, I've talked about this in other videos, but if you haven't seen them, yes, uh, if it's print work, it's territorial. And so um, if I'm representing LA, then my bookings in LA will, will be booked through LA Models. And if I'm in Miami, it would be one of the agencies, uh, if I choose to sign with one of them here, it would be their territory. So LA Models can't book me a job from a client out in Miami and take 20% of that. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. So the, the point is, is you can have as many agencies as you want uh, per you know city, county, state, uh, internationally. But when it comes to commercial work, uh, meaning anything that's uh, film and TV, uh, at least if you're a California resident, you can only have one agency representing you for that. Um, so at least that's as far as I know. I don't have a lot of, I have experience in the, uh, you know film and TV a little bit um, on the TV side, but um, I haven't, I've done mostly print work. But that's it just, if you want to comment below, if you're a model watching this um, to clarify as well, please feel free. That's my understanding of it thus far. Um, anyways, so the decision-making process to figure out which agency I want to go with um, is going to be really dependent on the strength of, besides the connection being number one, the strength of the direct booker because I met with the agencies, each agency's direct booker. And that means that if you're not a local model, like you don't live in Miami, for example, which I don't, I live in San Diego, California, um, they're going to be the person in the agency that books a job directly, there's no casting involved, a client has the relationship with the agency and they say, hey, we need these guys and we need them here, 
Um, they're not even going to set up an um, a, a account scene, like I said. They're going to trust the agency to give them the perfect model um, for the job, and they, they really don't have time to do anything but that because a lot of the time uh, they'll be the right guy, but and the client wants them no matter what, but they live somewhere else in the world, and so direct is the best next best thing. Um, and so you can submit, obviously, like a video of yourself if the agency asks for it or the client, just so they can see what you look like in this moment, what's your hair like this week, you know, or this month, uh, your facial hair, all that stuff. So that's what direct is versus being on the main board. So um, there's models that live locally here in Miami. They're going to be on the main board of the agency site. I would be on the direct board, meaning that I'm not local. But when I am here in Miami, they would mark me as being in town, and that would probably help me to work with some local companies here. Um, but because Miami agencies, you know, are in this place in the world where it's kind of a hub for a lot of international work, um, there's a lot of direct booking actually. Um, although there's a lot of local work, there's there's a ton of stuff in uh, Europe and uh, even Colombia and a lot of Latin places. So there's, and New York as well, and East Coast stuff. So anyways, long story short, um, I'm having a tough decision here because I really connected uh, with the agencies today and um, I do have to think about what's the best fit for my career long term. And I, I really don't think I could go wrong with any of them because they're, they're just so great. They're, they're so well respected in the industry. Um, but it'd be more about, for me, whether or not um, their board is too big. Uh, if they have a smaller board of guys, then that means they're gonna put more emphasis on those models and not get lost in the shuffle, most likely. Not always the case, but you can only have so much staff and only put so much energy in a day into one model. Um, so that's gonna be a big factor. And also um, the type of clients that they serve. Um, you know, whether it's gonna be uh, a big long list of Latin clients that uh, are really steady all year, or maybe it's like a, a fragrance campaign and that is, you know, one of a few handfuls of bookings for the year, but it pays, you know, a significant amount uh, in terms of rate and that balances out. So, and it can also be career changing as well for a lot of the fragrance stuff. So, um, yeah, really debating a lot of that because uh, I, I just don't know. So my what I did is I, I immediately reached out, like I said, to my mother agency to get their feedback because ultimately they've been in the industry longer than me and uh, wise men seek counsel, ultimately. Um, I've gotten this far because of the people around me and who I choose to align with because I don't know everything, <laughs> far from it, and uh, I'm always learning and always refining. You have to stay humble in this industry don't care how big of the booking it is, you have to be long game and you could be no one tomorrow. You're expendable. There's so many attractive, good looking people that are at these agencies. And so, yeah, I, my decisions are always long game and investment. So, yeah, stay humble. And when you're on that tightrope, I'll be there to break your fall.